In Joe Walker's mind, there never was any doubt. He spent nine grueling months off the field, recovering from a knee injury, but his confidence in his ability to return never wavered. I know quest myself. No, I know the type of person I am. I'm a very competitive person, and I'm a very uh, self-motivated person. It was just a matter of time, just going through the you know, rehab and going through the process and just trying to get back on the field. I know once I get back on the field, I'm the type of player I'm capable of making big plays. He may not be making the big play every time, but his percentage of making the big play has to be better than anyone. Joe Walker saw just 10 snaps during the Iowa State game, but in that limited time, Walker sacked the quarterback twice, caused two fumbles, and recovered one of those. That's a productive 10 snaps. Once I got in the backfield and seen him standing there, you know, it felt like an owl looking down on a mice and just ready to attack. Well, I'm just thinking about just making a big play, and you know, even if it's sacking a quarterback in the backfield or making a big hit on a running back in the backfield, you know, that's an opportunity to make big plays when you're blitzing. And I try to make the best of it. Walker says his explosiveness is the only thing keeping him from being 100%, and that's coming. Many are hoping he can return to last year's form when he became just the sixth player in NCAA Division I history to return a punt, kick, and interception for a touchdown in the same season. But Walker's hoping for much more than that. I feel like that was just a, a little piece of me. You know, I feel like I got a lot more to show and a lot more to prove. You know, that was just one aspect of my game. I feel like, you know, I got to elevate my game even a little higher each year. And this is an especially important week for Walker. The junior from Arlington, Texas, is convinced he made the right choice, passing up a chance to play at both Texas and Texas A&M to come to Nebraska. But last season didn't help him make his case. It kind of motivated me because, you know, I got some friends that play on the Texas team, and it kind of, you know, give them, you know, the, the upper hand, you so-called, you know, that they didn't leave home and they were able to stay at home and still win a big ball game. It's kind of self-motivation for me to just go out there and show them that I came to Nebraska for a, week, for a reason, and that's to win big games and also win that championship. And Walker would also like to one-up some of his horned friends, including a guy he met at a Texas All-Star game, also a defensive back, also named Joe Walker. Kind of weird when you meet someone that had the same name as you and also is a great uh, football player and it was a good, you no, know, good chance to meet someone like that. Other than beating the Texas schools, Walker has just one other dream he'd like to become reality before his career is over. He'd like to score touchdowns from both sides of the line of scrimmage in the same game. But for that to happen, he has to get a few offensive snaps. It's not my uh, choice, my decision to make. No, I'm just a player. And I think that's up to the coaches to make their decision whether they want me to do that or not.